Hey everyone, welcome to my second video on Inkscape's pen tool. If you haven't seen the first video, we cover some like, real basic ground, so I'll, I'll leave a link in the description so you can you can check that out. Especially if you're really uh, new to the Inkscape and the pen tool, it's it's probably worth a look before you tackle this one. Uh, in this one, we're going to be doing the dinosaur who's become known as Ron. He's going to be like the channel mascot, so he's going to keep cropping up on uh, different projects. As always, thanks to the new subscribers who've uh, joined. I'm still a really small channel, but uh, I'm trying to keep things uh, useful for you guys and, and hopefully uh, you can use my uh, content and make your own projects. Covered quite a lot in this video, so I've put a lot of timestamps because I know a lot of you guys are not going to want to watch the whole thing. Um, so I want to be keep this as useful as possible. So I've timestamped it so you can jump straight into where you want to be. Uh, or if you're feeling brave, you can do what I call the uh, the single player story mode and just let the video run. And if you've got any questions about this video or any suggestions or anything at all, just just uh, leave me a question in the um, comments and I'll um, I'll try and help you guys out. Okay, let's get into pen tool and um, see what it's all about. So in the previous video, we used the pen tool to create this. Union Jack sticker, um, but you only use the straight edges of the pen tool. It's a nice, easy introduction uh, for beginners if you've never used it before. I'll leave a link in the description uh, so you can you can catch up on that if you've not seen it. Um, but in this one, what I want to do is curves. Now I thought it'd be a great opportunity to create a channel mascot, and as it's called petrol vectors, and petrol's a fossil fuel, it only seemed natural to use a dinosaur. So in this one I'm going to be using my much loved Rat Ring 600 0.5mm with a uh, B lead. I love sketching with this. Uh, I'm going to rough out a quick dinosaur, get it over to Inkscape and we'll start using the pen tool. So I've got a rough idea of what I want. Um, it's just a case of getting some lines down. So I've got something to take over to uh, Inkscape. I don't want it to make it too perfect because I want Inkscape to do most of the work. Plus, I'll probably change my mind a bit about the design anyway as we go. Tighten that up a little bit. See, this guy is going to be like a recurring theme throughout a lot of the designs I'm going to be doing. Just thought it'd be fun to have like a little character we can sort of refer back to. Trying to concentrate and um, not make too much of a mess of this. Okay, it's starting to take shape. It's not quite, not quite what I wanted, but it's not far off. Um, yeah, the, the reason you don't want to spend too long in in um, perfecting your sketch because 
you may find when you get over to Inkscape that you'll struggle to uh, follow the exact lines that you've um, created, especially if you're not used to pen tool. Spots, I think you need some spots. I'll sort these out in Inkscape. We're putting a bit too much detail on, but that could be our guy. Okay, so our sketch is done. Um, I've opened Inkscape and now we're just going to import it in the usual way by going to File, Import, navigate to the, the image we want, which is this one, and open. There he is. Um, he is actually called Ron um, after the research octane number on the uh, at least on the UK fuel pump. So I just thought it'd be a fun fun name to give him. Um, I've discovered that there is a, an anti knock number called uh, Aki, which I think is in um, possibly the states. So there might be he might be partnered up with another dinosaur at this rate. Um, Ron and Aki, maybe we'll see, but. Um, Let's get this guy done first and uh, we'll go from there. So to get started with the pen tool, we need to press B to select it. Just going to zoom in, holding down control and rolling the mouse wheel. Uh, and the trick is pick a good start point, which I think on this the point of his mouth here is a good start. And don't bite off more than you can chew. So you can see as this arch comes around and it kind of drops down and it starts going back up. You can only do one curve at a time. so. The apex of that curve is about there. I think we can probably conform by dragging out the mouse and just, just holding down the left button to about there and just let go. Hit enter. I'm just going to bring that up to two millimeters so you can see what's going on a bit better. Uh, and earlier in the, in the video I said about don't get too sort of precious about your sketches because you may not be able to conform the line perfectly well that's not that's not bad it's a little high there but we could fix that if we wanted uh, and to continue on the line just click on the node pick another end point which is uh, the next sensible one is where the uh, the head rises I'm just going to drag it away and drop it down into a little dip and let go again hit enter and it carries on and it's just a case of carrying around on around the outside and um, completing the character now that's fairly straightforward when you're just doing an outline but sometimes on some projects you're going to need to join two lines together and that can cause some problems which I'm going to try and demonstrate now I'll just select B again and use this spare patch of paper if you like to call it uh, let's just draw a straight line let's hit enter and then we're going to draw uh, another line that's going to come in if I just hover over that node so I hit the node and then put a little bend in it like that and then let's just select both of those and bring up the uh, stroke weight to 2 mil, and I'll zoom in on the join so you can see there where these two objects meet there is a gap there's a few different ways you can solve it uh, let me just select one of them if you move over to cap and join I think they default to possibly mitre and butt cap if you make butt cap that's funny um, if you uh, select join as round and cap is round you should get a nice nice join uh, it may not show occasionally may not show until you've done um, stroke to path sometimes it doesn't actually display on the screen so if you, you're clicking on the on the button there and it's not having any effect that could well be why and don't forget even though that has fixed the problem there at this end because we've selected this 
object, we've got a round end there, but this end we still square end. So let's just select that and make that a round cap as well. Another way of joining two uh, like stroke lines together, uh, you can. If I'll just select that one. I've, I've reverted back to to the square caps. So we've taken the round edges off, so we've, we're back to this awkward looking gap. If you make this uh, stroke a path, uh, we've got a stroke to path, and do the same on this one, path, stroke to path, you'll get these nodes. And if you want to overlap them, just create a new node. If you, if you pull this one to there, you're going to change the width of this um, object. We don't want to we don't want to disturb that too much. So just click on the line anywhere and create a new a new node, and just pull it, and that'll snap. If you've got the uh, the snap on in the top left there, that'll just snap. You may get a little awkward edge, but you can't have everything. You know, you've got to compromise. Life's a compromise. Um, I've occasionally used that. It's great on like small projects because it doesn't really, unless you like look at it under a microscope, you're not going to see that. If it's just a, a sticker, as you zoom out, I mean, that's, that's a sort of acceptable join. And then, of course, you just click on that one, click on the other one, select them both, and go path, union, to make it one complete object. And when you go back to the nodes, they should all be... Um, tidy so I've used that to get out of trouble a few times and hopefully that'll uh, help you guys out as well right then so uh, just showing you a couple of hopefully useful tips on how to use the pen tool I'm now gonna crack on and select B and zip round Ron getting finished off I'm gonna go to time-lapse because uh, it's gonna be a bit of a long job and I've got a really nice hot cup of tea next to me, and I'm sure you do, guys don't want to listen to me slurping that while I'm doing this. So uh, I'll uh, I'll get going, and I'll um, see you in a little while.